Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our No Shot Run where we're trying to beat Legendary Iron Man difficulty, permanent dark events and a few other neat features uh, with the side condition of only using martial arts and psionic powers. No shots, no explosives, no heavy weapons and of course no flamethrowers. Uh, it is Operation Swamp Wheel where we're trying to hack uh, an enemy computer whilst uh, fighting against 12 enemies ourselves Spectre, Archon, Elite, Purifier, Mutant, Priest, Heavy Mech, pretty hardcore enemies and to make uh, matters worse uh, we have shaken 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 greedy greedy tired tired special uh, negative trait uh, recovery so essentially almost our entire a team is gone uh, so we're sending in of course the b team uh, at this point i will put judge onto this i've upgraded the claws by the way just for full transparency and we are going to make things available uh, first things first let's start with our damage uh, with our support line uh, Taking school checks and nanomed kids, plus we have gremlin marks uh, mark three. That is good. I like it. That'll give us the necessary oomph uh, for our front line. Uh, wait a second. For our support character, Judge over here, he's going to start using mimic beacons. We really don't need a weapon for him. He has his claws and a mimic beacon, and that's pretty much it. That's all you get, Judge. Divert. We'll take the Katana. Not that we're going to use a Rashi, but it's nice uh, to have the, the big fat uh, shotgun in his hand. Mind Shield, yes please. And a Mimic Beacon. Zirkim. Takes only the Mind Shield. And the Fusion Axe. And Halo here. Mind Shield, Mimic Beacon, and the Advanced Blade. I like it. So, we got three Mimic Beacons, got some Insta Kills, some Extra Heal, and a few Mind Shields in case the Chosen or the Berserker Queen shows up. And that's really it, guys. This is all we get. The B team uh, is well equipped. We should be fine for now. But boy, boy, it's going to be a hard mission. Good, we landed. Of course, there is the odd chance uh, that the hunter chosen will show up. It's actually not an odd chance. It might be really happening. If that's the case, we're just going to partially succeed on this mission by essentially hacking and then probably evacuating the entire team. I do not see at this point how we would be able to beat the uh, Chosen. Okay, wait a second. So, pretty beefy packs right here. They are, of course, standing next to explosives. So, uh, that in itself is a great opportunity. A great distance. We're going to move in. Be careful. Not to be discovered. Copy that. And Jammer over here might take the full cover. Alright, we got two packs and I'm almost certain at this point that the hunter will show up. That's the third pack right there. And we're being locked down. Ah, too bad. Well, we could move back, right? And then he would be our Mimic Beacon guy. 
that would at least prevent us from having a third pack. Let's try that. A bit of an unconventional move, but it has gotten rid of the third pack. Elsewise, I'm looking for someone who has a blade storm. Yeah, the only person who had blade storm just moved away. Well, damn it. We can just as pull someone. Be too bad. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. That means Divat, whom we've just moved back, maybe will even get uh, the chance to hit this guy. Yep, he's he's in range. That's fantastic. All right, very good. We got a skull mine that would trigger another pack. We might wait with that for one more turn. How about using an A protocol here first? And then I would like to take over the mech. Taking control. Taking over a mech means we would get it with Overwatch. So since I have not triggered Overwatch, that's a bonus shot that we will take. Good. Thank God for uh, Haywire Protocol. That's really a nice little ability. Good. Spectre here. Needs to be taught a lesson. Wow. Very nice loot. And since we got Bladestorm and Untouchable, uh, might as well position ourselves right over here. That'll be some extra damage. Moving in. Hit this guy. Target still standing. Yeah, unfortunately that triggered. I was hoping it would not. It did though. And there was our only shot. You had one job and one job only and you blew it up. Well, let's get this guy down. Target neutralized. Okay, fantastic. Now we got a mimic beacon and in every defeat there is also um, a new option for victory. In this case, the defeat offered us the skull mining. So that's an extra kill right there. Good. Mimic Beacon. And both of them should hopefully move forward. And I'll just stand there. And if things turn out... Okay, we might not even fight against uh, the hunter. Oh, 
Okay, Hunter would have shown his ugly face by now. We continue the extra quick uh, intel plus uh, kills. Skull chicks have proven invaluable in this particular run. Sirkim uses his massive, massive movement. Pulls another pack, it's probably over here. Yep. Very nice. Good, we can't really do much with Judge here. It's a shame. Since we know it's the last pack, might as well get in a bit closer. This guy here will trigger Bladestorm very soon. I don't want anyone mind controlled. Let's deal with the priest right away. That's going to be our mimic beacon. Yeah, let's position ourselves here just in case the heck stops and uh, that way we at least get a base storm attack off. Moving up to be a proper target because frankly that's the only thing that he can do at this point. Copy that. And let us Yeah, let us try to place a mimic beacon sort of here so that everybody can see it. I was almost thinking he would vanish, but he did not. Alright, there is the blade storm. Done. Okay, so I got one. Yeah, we're going to take some damage with this uh, purifier. I wouldn't see any other way around it. Unfortunately, Comet Protocol cannot explode things. Uh, you can see with the explosive uh, gas station right there, we would be in a prime position to abuse this here. Yeah, we got enemies that I really don't like. If we frostbite it, that means he will not explode. At least I think that that equates it. Oh 
All right, that's a good hit. Let's get rid of the enemies one by one. X-ray down. Okay, I'll put it closer uh, to the potential explosion here. And this deals damage but doesn't kill, and Bladestorm should trigger twice. Getting the mech uh, to critical levels so that the Bladestorm would kill it. And we're working with the Elite Spectre as well. I go. All right, we don't need uh, we don't need to open the door, not uh, not now, and we're just ending. Let's storm unfortunately will miss due to lightning reflexes and it's that will be moving. probably a shadow bond. Yeah, he has taken the one character that really does not matter a lot. Reinforcements, we can work with that, not a problem. Good, we don't need to revive him yet. And by the way, hack the workstation and be done, uh, done with it. Got another combat protocol that will come in handy. Oops, that's a revival protocol. Either the mech or the purifier. Okay, cool. Good. What we can do is we can move the mech up here and you will see in a second why. Well, it also works uh, with this guy. I wanted to kill the mech and use Implaceable to stand right onto the landing spot. But like I said, it worked that way just as well. Good, whilst the purifier is still out of actions. Let's try to kill him whilst we can. Oh boy, down to Our one HP. Move him closer so that the blade storm kills it. And this may injure two of our comrades. Yep, three actually. Could have moved him away. That was stupid. The other two pretty much were non-preventable. At some point, if you fight against purifiers, we either use our entire arsenal on them, or we accept that they are going to explode. 
and just deal some damage. Well, look at that. By the way, we've been expecting you. Very nice. Fantastic. I love it. Good. That was decisive. There you go. Too close to the heat. Well, luckily no one was standing there, right? Gremlin, medical detail. A little heal. And let's take a look if we can Activate hack this anyone. guy. Yeah, I'll take the 100% chance. No need to be fancy. We're in a good position. Alright, that'll buy us an entire turn. And again, action economy, heal, and then hack the workstation. You gotta live, love specialists. I don't know why anyone would not want to play with them. So strong, so unbelievable strong. Um, 25 increase, great. Uh, the current tech is plasma weapons. Hmm. That's also not bad. And we got enough income, so might as well take that. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Okay, let's start eliminating any remaining hostiles in the area. Well, that's definitely not how it's done. Let's try that again. There we go. Good, easy enough. Clear. Yes, Commander. You know, might as well position ourselves here. I'm not sure, I think this is the last guy. I might be wrong. Just seen a bit of ground shaking, which is usually the indication that something big is coming. Potentially the last kill? It is not. Finally. On the move. Good. So let's end the turn and see what we're doing. This is the shot yeah, we that was sort of expected. That's why it wouldn't have been very difficult, right? We're making sure to take it out this time. All right, we're in full line of sight, unfortunately, with everyone. Yep. Although, closing the door might change that. Nope. It is a pretty transparent door. Too bad. Good. Let's start with the obvious which is using 
our blade storm in order to hit her. She will probably retaliate. Takes another hit. Can't really move up. Uh, grapple was a free action. Not sure if it triggered though. I, there is no advantage in really grappling her now. She's burning and she's taken quite a bit of damage. Panic resisted, fantastic. And this should almost drive her back if I'm not mistaken. Another good hit. Yeah, not much we can do to stop that thing. It will just run away and we'll see it yet again, but with far fewer hit points. It's down to a single line, I think 18-ish hit points. Another 8 protocol and you know whilst we're on it I don't know if we really need to heal let's let's instead just take full cover and wait for the mutants to attack I was expecting a Bladestorm Retaliation, thank you. And I was actually expecting that before the attack happened. There you go. And there's the Untouchable. There's heavy fire in this zone. Fantastic. Do we have any form of ranged attack? We don't. So believe it or not, him standing there doing nothing is probably the most effective counter to the mutant. Whilst the rest is just standing here. If I attack him, he might be countered. This year, it's not going to be countered. Big deal. Status confirmed. All hostels are down and yep. the area is secure. That was a fantastic mission. Ruler escaped. We got a few wounded soldiers, but uh, good action. Good action. I like it. All right, we're back in action. We got a promotion here on Judge. Uh, he'll get wrapped because that's a kick-ass ability, I like it. Um, that is not a bad ability for him either, but I think we're going for technical rigging. That extra slot would be helpful. I still think he's not going to be super, uh, super helpful, but maybe, may, just maybe we can level him up and have some fun with him. Good, fantastic core, auto loader, and even more intel. Got some bonus intel and a ton of corpses. Also a Colonel Grenadier that we will probably never use. But he can go on to unwanted uh, missions that we do not want to take care. Um, 
of blast padding yes demolition see and that's the problem uh, no matter what we're going to skill he is not going to be able to use any of that nope not in this run So back to the drawing board, what else do we want to do? GTS could give us more explosive damage, not needed. And I think we did not get a sectored. I don't remember killing one, so the answer is no Saiken. You can't upgrade your psionic um, accelerators, amplifiers rather. Not accelerators and yeah so we Just got Indonesia don't have the, uh, the Intel yet to go in and make further contact not yet but we certainly could something here into Eastern Europe and then make double contact that way wouldn't be too bad does this here cost 80 no it's 160 um, yeah let's let's go with the Eastern Europe uh, route Setting course for Eastern Europe in the meantime the new uh, radio towers start to cost quite a bit of money, but that's normal. We're just going to expand here and we'll take whatever we want. Wonderful. Stasis shield. Come on. Sustain is good. Solace is good. Let's give him sustain. A lot of th defensive powers, but I'm still looking for uh, the Null Lands. We have made a number of new discoveries. The aliens are great. With that upgrade, we at least got an inspiration here. That's good. The warlock weapon is really not that necessary for us. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. Might as well start with the Golden Path missions as well. There's no disadvantage in doing that. Alien facility coordinates locked in, Commander. Good, we got another alien facility, and like I said, I, at this point there's no surprise. They will always appear somewhere where you've not been, uh, so this here is pretty convenient for us. When inspired, our team is actually quite... 120 intel. Greetings, Commander. Yeah, vector rifles, that does not mean anything to us. Let's start upgrading the weapons. The weapons usually trigger additional breakthroughs, and I was hoping that we might get a nice breakthrough. Um, we have so much intel that we would have available. I'd actually like to make contact here and then start building. Start building there as well. Got a few facilities that we should clear. Our people seem to work well together, Commander. And we're getting nice rewards now. So what else do we have? Mobility plus one is great. I like it. Dodge plus seven is good as well. Dodge plus eight is even better. Yeah, I think we're going to go in with uh, Roby and R searching for that uh, for that upgrade. However, let's get the f uh, let's get the necessary uh, items done first, which means uh, first of all getting uh, the stronghold, uh, getting through uh, to the stronghold, and then we can always fish for higher stats 
extra movement. I think I'll put that on Hogbite. Reducing it to nine days. And let's put a soldier back there just to reduce the ambush. Our order is clear and we will obey it. Good. Very good. Okay, that works out. I think at the moment, like the whole uh, covert ops missions and getting some stat bony for Hogbite and Roby, that makes an awful lot of sense. Priority message coming through. And we got massive monthly now. income. The resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering. That is bad. We, he's immune to melee and he's now also regenerating. That in itself is not good. Because we have very limited damage potential against him. And if he's on top of it also regenerating, then that makes it pretty difficult. Um, we want to prevent this from happening. This here is a pretty shitty um, debuff as well. Uh, both of the dark events are bad. Yeah, gotta improve the skirmish affection and we gotta get more resistance Consider orders. Done, Commander. As with the Chosen, let's take a look at him. Uh, does not trigger Overwatch, that means Bladesome is not even triggering. Uh, immune to melee is a problem. Regeneration com com uh, combined with immune to melee is a big problem. And yeah, the skirmisher is not so much an issue. The explosion is also not so much an issue. I wonder how we are going to get him down. Maybe with Amplify and then Psionic uh, Energy. Maybe we need more Psy Operatives to even combat him. Which means we need to stall for now. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. We're reading you. Good, fantastic. We got enough intel to make contact here. The Elder's Hunter is after something in this area. And we technically could make contact in the future right there. Okay, good. Got a lot of potential uh, mm, facilities that we could crush. How's our team looking? Ranger, Templar, yeah, I, I mean, people are ready, right? So, might as well farm some of uh, the... Some of uh, the facilities, not the one uh, necessarily with uh, the... Um, with the Archon King, but we can definitely go and get some normal ones. Ranger, Specialist, Ranger, Specialist lightly wounded one more day once halo is back we're going to go in let's go and check out the black market no we don't have enough intel to make that worthwhile avenger plotting new course instead let's get some supplies and once Halop is back we can uh, go and get the next mission so that's plus one on our light armor might as well research that uh, weapon now I'm just after the uh, breakthroughs let me just double check light armor no uh, it, that effectively really means uh, mm, the light armor it's not just any armor but heavy armor yeah you can see plus one here 
on the serpent suit. That's not bad. I mean, it's plus one armor. Fair enough. Okay, cool. Very good. Finish our fortress training. Let's continue with insanity. And I'm still waiting for the Null Lands. Yeah, Halo just finished. So which of these beautiful facilities are we going to engage on? Enemy unknown means we're looking most likely at uh, the uh, Bursa Queen. I like that. Okay, either way is fine. Good. Anyways, it's the end of uh, this episode, guys. If you enjoyed what you've seen, uh, my typical request, uh, please subscribe or leave a comment uh, down below. And uh, see you in the next episode, guys. Bye-bye.